Ladies and gentlemen, it's also another the interwebs out there, Sebastian Envy, the strong style nerd, strong style cinephile. And according to some promo photos and information from the upcoming fourth episode of Stargirl, we are going to see Wildcat 2.0 join the fight, apparently, because there's promo pictures of her in costume. So let us geek about that for a scant few minutes. Now, I've seen and commented in a previous video on the costumes once we got full, like, high-res shots of Morph, you know, Courtney, and some of uh, Wildcat, and then some of the kid who's going to be our man. And, I mean, it looked kind of okay. I mean, Stargirl's straight, our man is straight, Wildcat, just the, the costume... While I love the ingenuity that went into it, cause as I said before, there's an Instagram post that kind of showed the design aspect of it, some of the notes the designers were making for the material and kind of the different ways it was weaved into the outfit. So I like that. Do I like the outfit itself? No, I don't. At least in, in the pictures, I don't like it. And then you see, and I'll throw it up here, the shot that they have of just that large, like, forehead, faceplate looking thing that they have. It's like, as somebody on one of the comments on one of the sites said it looked like it looked like they they took the old like faceplate thing from Shaq's steel movie and then spray painted it black or a darker color and threw it on that with some like cat ears it's just again maybe it will look good in motion once we see it like moving and doing stuff action stuff but then that takes us to the root of the other issue that i have with it as far as how are we going to get to the Junior Justice Society of America. Like what, like we know, all we know about this girl is she's uh, just uh, all about like her just being um, isolated from everybody else. She's already sits at the singles table, which is like for the losers, and then she's further isolating herself at the table from the others. So what is Courtney going to see in her? Because as the episode description says, she realizes she needs help. I imagine she's going to get a beat down from Icicle. Hopefully that will kind of make her realize, oh, this is serious business. She hasn't had that beat down yet. And maybe that'll be like the traditional like fifth or sixth, seventh episode of the um, Arrowverse shows. And I know it's not Arrowverse proper, but it's, you know, still same people kind of behind, a lot of the same people behind it. And that's typically every season, the big bad around episodes um, six, seven, or eight puts a beat down on the hero. And kind of lays uh, like raises the stakes for the situation. So is this is the icicle episode because there's a shorter episode, you know, count for the first season of Stargirl. Is this going to be the episode that kind of snaps Courtney out of this like rebellious, you know, everything is awesome high that she's on about like being a superhero and being Stargirl? Is this the episode? Is this what makes her realize? Oh, I need help. If there was a Justice Society of America before. I should have a Justice Society now. That's fine if that's the case, but what makes her go after this girl? What shows her that she can go out there and throw down with the likes of Icicle and the rest of the Injustice Society of America? Just what does she have? What do these kids, these kids at this loser table, this loser high school table, what do they have that can make them stand up to the Injustice Society? That's, again, that's the root of the thing. It's like you start the series off with these just bad, you know, Villains just laying waste to the Justice Society. The heavy hitters have all been taken out by the Injustice Society, but you have them get bested by kids, inexperienced kids, new to being superheroes. It's just I'm trying to withhold judgment, but it's just I'm nervous about the actual execution of it. Stargirl has been phenomenal thus far. Visually, it's fun. Um, the characters, the actors portraying them, they're having, you can tell they're having fun, and there's chemistry amongst the, the characters. Lots of chemistry. Love that. There's menace from the Injustice Society. I'm wanting to see more Sportsmaster. I'm wanting to see Grundy get, you know, unleashed again. So there's good, a lot of good there. But they're just... But we get the Junior JSA. It's just, um... Hmm. I really don't want the show to hit a cliff or something or fall off or jump the shark that early or jump the shark for the season. Um, bringing them in. It's just... Is the staff going to imbue them with the powers and abilities? I mean, you know, like, our man can just, you know, um, Pat can unearth some of, of Rex Tyler's, you know, uh, pills and stuff to give the, the our man 2.0 some powers. 
um, for an hour, of course. Uh, but what about, you know, again, what about this Wildcat 2.0? What about Dr. Midnight 2.0? It's just, how? Why? That's the thing. Who, who what, where, when, why? My journalistic, you know, background is kicking in where I'm just wondering, you know, the five W's. Just, how? Just, hmm. I'm trying to withhold judgment. But, we just, we will see, I guess. <laughs> we will all see. Anyway, those are my thoughts on it, scattered as they often are. Yeah, Wildcat 2.0. We got promo pictures of already you guys out there. Think, let me know in the comments below. Follow me, social media. Got a couple more videos coming, probably tonight. Working on some stuff for my stop motion as well. Everything works out. I'll be in contact with the guy who's gonna fashion me some new custom gear because I'm kind of changing things up for whenever wrestling starts up back in earnest. So we got, I got that going as well. So, yeah, until the next time, until the next video, until the next wrestling match, let us geek.